Jewish women. Please, I'm not comfortable right now. Oh, sir, I'm not please. comfortable with you. Sir, please. sir, please, all right. that's free, not right. Free the Israeli hostages now. Free the Israeli hostages now. Free the Israeli hostages now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna now. call the free cops the right now. now. Sir. Free the Israeli hostages now. Free the yes, yeah, the you called it. You go do it in the streets of New yes. York City. I, I, oh, yes, you did. This is a place of worship. You can't be disturbing people. Okay. Tell me you're a brain dead Zionist without telling me you're a brain dead Zionist. First of all, so this dude is essentially saying that all you Muslims are responsible for the safety of the hostages taken by Hamas. Now, imagine a Muslim marching right into a synagogue, marching around demanding that every single Jewish person in the city or in the world is responsible for the tens of thousands of hostages, men, women, and children held illegally by Israel be immediately released. Yeah, that person would be called an anti-Semite, anti-Jewish, hater, a bigot. You'd probably be right. Same applies to Baldi right here. No offense to any other bald person who's never done anything wrong. And apparently the Muslims at the Masjid are telling him, dude, you can't do that in here. This is a place of worship. <laughs> do it outside. He's like, you guys do it all over the city. Yeah, go outside. We don't do it in your houses or places of worship, number one. And number two, so saying you need a ceasefire, humanitarian aid, and stop the genocide is not the same as supporting a genocide. It, did, did you use this thing inside here? No? How many brain cells you got? Brains. Do you have any? Anyways, I hope the police find this dude.